deadlines during the initial design of Disneyland, Imagineering artists often had only a few hours to do their work before someone would snatch it from their easel. Many of the paintings that shape the look of the park are currently on display in the new Disney Art Gallery in Disneyland's New Orleans Square. The development of New Orleans Square as it is today uh, came about through a rearrangement of the structure of the plan meaning that we have a street coming in and you don't know where you're going to turn and you turn and then first thing you know you're, you're right back where you started again. Strangely enough, it took about two years in its evolution. Herb was recently honored when his 1964 painting of New Orleans Square was selected as the first Disney artwork to travel to the U.S. Embassy in Paris as part of the Art and Embassies program. I was originally called upon to uh, name uh, some of the uh, nomenclature for Tom Sawyer Island. Walt came to me and he said, Herbie, would you, would you think of some names? Naturally, you obviously think about uh, Smuggler's Gulch and Robber's Cove and uh, kind of uh, inspiring names that little children would be excited about. And then uh, later, one day, uh, as Bill Cotto told me, he said he, he and Walt rode around on the Mark Twain, and Walt had this map in front of him where these names were uh, allocated that, as according to my designation. And, and Walt said, well, wh why should we let Herbie name name all these names on the island? He said, well, why can't, why can't I name these? Uh, and Bill said, yes, he said, I think you could. And so Walt renamed the, the, all these names. <laughs> What do those names on the uh, Main Street windows mean? <laughs> well, the names on the Main Street windows are the people uh, to whom Walt wished to give credit, people who helped him create Disneyland. For instance, there's a wonderful name up there is my friend Ken Anderson. He, he sells bait and tackle. And of course, Ken is one of the great fly fishermen in America. My name is there with John Hinch and with Peter Ellenshaw. And uh, so we, we, we give art lessons. Uh, my work with Walt Disney uh, fitted right in with my aims of trying to translate beauty and inspiration to people. And there's more, there's more of an extensive uh, mission that has been accomplished by the work I've done here for Disneyland and for Walt Disney than anything I could have done as a private artist because I would have had a very limited audience. But here at Disneyland, it's a, it's a world audience. So what better showcase could an artist have? 